Okay then my friends, so we have learnt a lot about how we can construct routes now for different pages, how to make nested routes and layouts, how to use route parameters, and also how to use loaders to fetch data for page components. Now what I'd like to do is show you how to use a hook that React Router gives to us called Use Location, which gives us a lot of data about the current location of the user on the site. And we're going to use that hook to make a breadcrumbs component, which is going to sit inside the root layout component just underneath the navbar, so for every page. Now, breadcrumbs on a site are basically a list of locations the user has visited to reach their current destination. They're like a little trail of breadcrumbs, as the name says, to the current page. So it means that we're going to have to look at the URL and break it down. For example, if the URL was forward slash help forward slash contact, then the breadcrumbs would be a link to the help page followed by a link to the contact page because they're the two parts of the path, right? So we have to find the current location of the user, look at the URL path of that location and break that path down into the individual pages. And the use location hook is gonna help us do that. So first of all, let's make a breadcrumbs component inside a new components folder. I like to have a components folder for any kind of non-page specific reusable components that I can just use in different places in the application. And inside this file, I just need to quickly boilerplate a new React component called breadcrumbs. And we can delete the React import because you don't need that in later versions. All right, so let's try using this use location hook inside this component. So let's say const location is equal to use location. This one right here, it's gonna auto import it from React Router DOM for us. And all I'm gonna do is just log that to the console so we can take a look in the browser and see what this does for us. So let me save that. We need to output this breadcrumbs component somewhere. It's gonna go in the root layout underneath the nav. So let's do that. Oops, not red, bread crumbs. Gonna import it at the top for us. So let's save this now and preview. All right, so I've got the console open, currently on the home page. Now, if I go to the help page, we can see we get the breadcrumbs right here. And on that, we get these different properties. Now, the one we're interested in is this path name right here, and it matches the path up here. Now, if I go to contact us, we can see down here, the path name now is forward slash help, forward slash contact. So this is the property that we're gonna use to help us make those breadcrumbs. So then we need to take that path name property and we need to get each individual section from it to make a breadcrumb for that section. For example, if we have the path forward slash help, forward slash contact, we want to split that path up into two parts, the help part for the help page and the contact part for the contact page. And they would be our two breadcrumbs. And then we can output those in the template as links to those pages. So first up, let me create a variable using let since this is going to change and this is going to be called current link and we set that to be an empty string to begin with. So this string is going to keep track of the link of each crumb. For example, the first crumb help would have a link path of forward slash help. The second crumb contact would have a link path of forward slash help forward slash contact. So this variable is going to keep track of the path as we build on it for each crumb. Next, I'm going to create a constant called crumbs, and then we'll set that equal to location, which is what we get from the use location hook, remember. And then I want the path name property, which is the path. Then I want to split that string up into an array. So I can say dot split and invoke that. And I want to split it wherever there's a forward slash in the path so that we have just an array of the word parts of the path. So in the case of the path forward slash help, forward slash contact, we'd have the words help and contact as array elements. Now also, the way the split method works is that in this case, we'd also get empty strings in the array at the start where we had the first forward slash. And if there's a trailing forward slash in the path at the end, we get an empty string as the final element in the array as well. So we need to remove those empty strings from the array that we get back from this. And I can do that by tacking on the filter method and filtering out any array element that's equal to an empty string. So it iterates the array and where we return true, it keeps the element in the array, okay? And that will be the case where the crumb is not an empty string. 
But if we return false, then we filter that element from the, uh, from the array. We remove it. Okay, so now we're left with just an array of words in the path, right? And now I wanna cycle through those and return a bit of template for each one. So to do that, we're gonna use the map method, which fires a function for each crumb in the new filtered array. And for each crumb, we need to do two things. First of all, we need to update the current link of that crumb. And then we need to also return a bit of template which uses that link for that crumb. So first of all, current link is plus equal to template string. So we can output a variable inside it, then forward slash, and then dollar sign curly braces to output the variable, and then whatever the crumb is. So remember the crumb is the part of the URL. So to begin with, when we first cycle through this, the crumb is gonna be help. So the current link is nothing to begin with, but then it becomes forward slash help. And that is the link to the help page, right? So we have the link for this particular crumb. Next, we want to return a bit of template, which is gonna be put in the new array, stored in crumbs. So that's gonna be a div. And in fact, we'll give this a class name equal to crumb, just so we can style it later. And also we need a key on this, remember. So a key prop, which is unique, and that's just gonna be the crumb. Okay, so I know this in other sites might not be unique. You might have parts of the URL which are the same, in which case you would find another way to come up with some kind of unique key for each crumb, but for us, this will do. All right, so now inside this div, we wanna output a link to that page for that particular crumb. So let's do a link component. Click on this to import it, which it does at the top. And the link is gonna to go to the current link, which is this thing at the minute. And then for the text, we just want the crumb. So that's gonna be help or whatever the next one is, contact, etc. So we're doing that for each one. So the first one is forward slash help in our case with this example, and we link to that. And this word will be help. Second time around, it's contact, right? Now, the second time around, the current link is already forward slash help because we're storing it in this variable. But then what we're doing is tacking onto that forward slash whatever the crumb is this time, which is contact. So the current link would then become forward slash help forward slash contact. And that's the URL to the page that we want to go to if a user clicks on this crumb. So we output that there and we output the crumb name, which is contact in this case. Okay. So then that's pretty much all we need to do to create this array of crumbs. Now we just need to output that array of crumbs down here. So let's get rid of this and do a div with a class of breadcrumbs instead. And inside that div, I wanna output the crumbs like so. All right, so that's pretty much it. It's already inside the root layout, so we should see it now. Let's try it out in a browser. So the homepage, nothing there. About, we see the about breadcrumb, inspect that and the href is right. Go to help, inspect this, and we can see, yep, forward slash help, that's working. If we go to contact us, then we can see the first one stays at forward slash help, that's correct. The second one is forward slash help, forward slash contact. If we go to FAQ, then just this second one updates. So that's all working now. We can click on help, and it will go back to the help page. Let's try this one, careers. Yep, so we see this breadcrumb. Inspect that, forward slash careers. If we go to one of these, we can see careers and then three. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a slug instead of the ID. And then in that case, the breadcrumbs would be a little bit better as well. Um, but we just see the number right here, the ID, which is fine. And we can see right here, the correct href. So that's all working. So cool. Now I just wanna add a little bit of CSS because currently the breadcrumbs don't look great. All right, so let me open up this CSS file and paste in these few rules. So we have the breadcrumbs and we say the max width is 1200 pixels. Give it a bit of margin up and down, left and right auto. Um, every element directly inside the breadcrumbs, we say display inline block. That's so they sit next to each other, not on top of each other. Give each one a bit of margin right as well, a bit of breathing room. And then for every breadcrumb, every crumb, remember if we go to breadcrumbs, each one of these has a class of crumb. So each one of those we're saying after that, so we're using a pseudo selector, and we're having a bit of content injected after every crumb, and that's a little chevron. So we'll see that in between each crumb, and that chevron is gonna have a margin left of 10 pixels. However, 
the last child, so the last crumb after is display none. So for the last crumb, we don't want a chevron going right and then nothing to the right of that. We want to remove that. So that's what we're doing here. And then any anchor tags inside the crumbs, which is the link component, this thing right here. Then we're styling those as well. We're just giving them a color, which is a light gray. So let's save this and see if it looks any better. And let's go to help and then contact us. And there we go, my friends. That's looking a lot nicer now. Awesome. So that's how we can make a very simplified version of some breadcrumbs using the React router, a use location hook. Now there's probably more sophisticated ways of creating these breadcrumbs. I just wanted to show you how we can use this hook to do things like this, to make some simplified breadcrumbs.